God's Bow, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a night light on for that night light is out of the book of Genesis chapter 9. It's the original rainbow, God putting a bow in the sky, and it's the proper meaning of that original rainbow. It says, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass that when I bring the cloud over the earth, that bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. So there's two ways that you can say that you know a thing. We can say, I know a thing, and we can spout facts about the thing, but there's another kind of knowing that is an experiential knowledge. So I could say, I know about a rainbow, and I could talk about rain droplets or water vapor that's in the sky, light refracting through the, the storm cloud, uh, creating a separation of the colors and casting a rainbow in the sky. And that would be knowing facts about a rainbow, but knowing the bow that God placed in the sky and knowing the God who put that bow there is something infinitely more profound. So this rainbow isn't just a beautiful natural phenomenon. It's a divine promise. Each time we witness the spectacle, we remember that God's faithful and he's merciful. Just as he promised Noah, he would never again destroy the earth with a flood. He assures us of his constant presence and protection in our lives. In our personal storms, there's trials, sorrows, or challenges. We can look to this promise. The rainbow reminds us that every storm has as an end and God's love endures through it all. In Psalms 30, it's beautifully put, for his anger endureth but for a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Let the rainbow be a symbol of hope in your life when dark clouds gather. Remember that God's promises are steadfast. He is with you in the storm, and his grace will see you through to calmer skies. The next time you see a rainbow, take a moment to thank God for his unfailing promises. Let it remind you that no matter what storms you face, his love and faithfulness remain constant painting your life with the vibrant colors of his grace. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for the promise of your mercy. God, apart from that, we would be destroyed. But God, we come to you asking your mercy and grace to help us in those profound fault lines that flow through our lives. We ask, God, that you would not only help us to repent of those things, but really, we ask, God, that you would restore to us the joy of our salvation, that you would return us to paths of righteous living, and that you would be the constant guiding force in our lives, helping us to head the right way, that we might be ready to enter into those gates of splendor that you've prepared for us in that great getting up morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.